Uh, fishy people. I just wanted to give a little update. Uh, hopefully it will be little because it's after one and I'm doing my water changes and feeding fish. Uh, one at night, one in the morning. But uh, I wanted to give a little look here again at Mr. Sterling. He's eating. He slacked off a little bit on how much he eats. Um, I'm just giving him some blood worms now as a kind of a treat. Uh, he's just, uh, he has not had, just had a water change. I'm wrong. I stopped before I did his tank or stopped here to stop and feed. But I did uh, take out that uh, Pleco cave, Pleco Pleco cave, that he would just make a perfect stopper in and get stuck in and gave it to somebody else. I have a ton of those, so I don't know where I put it. There's a small log back there, but he would have no chance at all to get even his face in that. Uh, so I think I'll leave it just for the beneficial bacteria it's got on it. Um, he's got a um, um, hollowed out fake looking log thing there that I thought I would just leave in case he wants to go behind it, but he's made it very clear that his favorite spot uh, in this tank is to lay right there on the front of that uh, filter on the top of it and survey his kingdom. So he's a good boy, that's for sure. He recognizes me and when I bring food, he recognizes the difference in whether I'm holding food or whether I'm just going by with my car key fob or something like that. So he does know my face. So get up here and let him see me. I'm sure he'd rather see me than the camera. Ed, Chattanooga Ed would mention last night in his live stream, he has one of these guys, never fails, never fails. Uh, about having uh, one and that he didn't want any sharp sticks or objects because they have such big eyes and they do have some big eyes on him and he compared him to a chihuahua's eyes so he's not uh, lying when he says that they're just really really cool puffers I'm still reading all I can find about them and um, I am gonna do a water change for him and a couple other t tanks I want to get half of them done tonight He's very happy to sit and engage, and he's not afraid of my hand. Uh, he watches me, but he didn't come over or he didn't run. Uh, he does stare right at me in the face. So he's a smart, smart cookie for sure. I'm trying to keep him on still and keep my fingers out of it, but get down so I can see him. He's got some pretty brown eyes. Um, his colors, Pam, Punchy Paints, remarked in a video, I guess, just from last night, because I've only had him a couple of days, about his colors, but he's really got some beautiful patterns uh, in those colors that are starting to come out. And I want to really try and get some good shots of her, uh, of her, of him, to show her. She mentioned she might want to do some for drawing so we'll see he not let me he's got what they call port holes on the side which are not holes they're just the pattern of course just in case anybody's not clear he does have a little uh, chihuahua face too so I see where Ed gets that um, analogy the patterns that I've mentioned are the portholes that are on the posterior part of him on his honey underneath down there they go all along the side and back there and those are the ones of course with me shaking like this and the light being poor under there I would never want to put a light on him uh, let's see if I can get any nope it's not gonna it's trying to focus. See all the little ghost speckles in the dark circles and definitely a 
as a looker. Um, BTW Brent B, B, BTW Aquatics uh, has several kinds of puffers, and this is one that he raises. I think he's got three or four pairs right now. He's got seven puffers, so three and a half pair. Look at this. See, nothing has to be moving. He always goes back and gets his food. What I'm really fascinated with him really about is he feels like he looks like I don't know what he feels like he looks like a nerf ball or something his whole um, body moves when he makes a movement I'm glad he's not afraid of this camera okay. see none of that stuff's moving or yeah it's in front of him but remember he was turned the other way so he does go back and hunt for food and find food he never leaves any food down I've just noticed he's a little slower to eat, so I may be feeding him a little much. I'll slow down a little bit. I backed off on those pellets too because those things are could be constipating. I wanted to try snails today and I've been out. Some of you know, some of you went with me. I went over to Ponds and Plants and picked up another platinum parrot, so I have four of them now. Uh, they had five over there, but I had to stop. I just, that tank is stocked, and I don't need to add anything else to that 180. So that one fish, it's getting along with the one single one in there, so mission accomplished. Got some cool moss that may be peacock moss. So, spent $14, that's all I spent. I thought I had got two of those parrots. I thought I got a great deal. I did get a great deal because they were only like uh, $8.99. Oh, I don't know if I scared him or if he's just looking around. He's not skittish at all. Excuse me. Um, I haven't heard Ed say how his guy is behaving and I don't know if he's named him yet. But I know that um, the one page and Scotty have, uh, it's very gregarious and comes up to the glass and follows them around and I know they're delighted with it. So, I mean, they're just a whole lot more interactive, or he is at least, than what I had uh, been led to believe or what I, people had said. One thing I will say is that you have to kind of slow down a little bit with these guys. I think he's probably a little timid, but uh, dear God, eight minutes. Uh, I think he's a little timid, but uh, not skittish. A little shy, maybe, not timid. He watches everything. I'm here. I'm behind there. So tomorrow, Saturday, this is Friday night, Saturday morning now, it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm going tomorrow to Chattanooga uh, using precautions and a mask and all that uh, to check out a couple of fish stores down there and see if I can score some food. I'm about out of foods uh, and frozen foods. I've got plenty and plenty of other foods, but these guys are used to frozen and obviously he needs blood worms um, and I am getting some food from um, fragged out coral from uh, JC and uh, Zach and in fact they may bring it to me tomorrow because they're going to be here in town it's a, we live about 20 minutes apart so they may go ahead and just leave it out front for me they've done that several times in a cooler or I can pick it up down down at their house so and Sunday's agenda is going over to meet Ginger Graves at Aquatic Critters in Nashville uh, and pick up a couple of well actually two um, loose cystic axolotls for me those are the white with the black eyes in case anyone wants to know and then three for uh, Shay um, Mrs. Fever, James's wife. Uh, so bringing five of them back. So I'll take two buckets and keep them in buckets um, that I'll secure in the truck. 
but I'm sure that we'll have a good time visiting and maybe get a snack. I don't know. We didn't plan anything just to meet them and get the axles, but uh, they have not only aquatics, but reptiles and all kinds of things, spiders. They have two different stores together. That's where I got Nelson, my blue tongue. And so I'll bring those back and get mine set up in a tank that I'll have to get ready between now and Sunday morning. And because uh, they're little, they're little babies. Um, then Monday at 12 noon, I'll be meeting with James Fisher and Fever and Chattanooga Ed over in Dayton, Tennessee, where I was today. Um, at the place uh, Lolly, the parrot used, was that I used to go visit. And the three of us will get together there and load up and go to uh, Crossville, 45 minutes or an hour drive from there. Uh, so about two hours for me. Um, to Wicks Water World or Wicks something. Anyway, Miss Wick, she's an old Asian lady and she's got a shop. You can look it up. It's in uh, Crossville, Tennessee, Wicks. And uh, she's got fish, fresh salt water. She's got all kinds of furry things. She's got tons of snakes and reptiles. Uh, she's got lots of birds, big birds, little birds, uh, tons of unique aquariums and oddball sizes and stuff. It's really hard. The last time I went, the other time I went with Roe, uh, we're meeting Ro there, by the way, at one, because uh, she'll have her children, and she's just going to meet us directly there. Uh, I only bought a shell for my uh, one of my marine hermit crabs, or a couple shells, so that's all I got out of there with. So we'll see what's going on Monday. And I think that's it. Yeah. Chattanooga tomorrow, Nashville Sunday, and Crossville Monday. It's just so like what's going on in here now uh, BTW Aquatics Brett keeps a male with two females and then a male female male females what I think he told me and they get along fine so I may be looking and he sent me pictures of the difference in males and females we're at 12 and a half minutes so what does another minute matter sorry uh, this is definitely a male because he's longer bodied. He's a bigger fish, just in general, a bigger structure. They have a longer, more pointed nose. Um, just structurally, you can see they're bigger fish. Um, he's more elongated. The females are rounder. Uh, they're shorter. Their face isn't smushed in, but it isn't quite as elongated as that and uh, the males are made bigger because they they do protect their spawns he said so the male uh, keeps their female and keeps their spawn protected their territory they can be very territorial there's just so much information about these guys out there uh, i've still got him in what what i consider a quarantine tank that doesn't mean he won't stay in there three months you know i kept rainbows in here for two or three months from Bob Steamfot till I had a tank to put them in and had it cycled and all that, so. He's fine, he's in a, I can't ever remember if this is a 20 or 29, I think it's a 29, but that's probably wrong. It's, a, it's at least a 20, but I want him in at least a 40. And I might consider uh, something, uh, I want him to have more floor space, um, a footprint. All right, well, he's tired of listening to me. See the patterns in that? Oh my God, in the light, how pretty. Yeah, so that's the end of that. He said, later for you, Bob. He ate almost all of his blood worms. He couldn't see uh, that, that cluster there. I couldn't either. <laughs> So he'll come back around when I get up and start feeding the rest of the fish. All right, guys, 15 minutes. Anybody made it this far, thank you. Uh, gonna shut this down and get the fish taken care of.